is April from Getting Hugo With It. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the book adaptations that I am so, so excited to see. So I thought that maybe we could go from like what's coming up first to what we have to wait a little while to go and watch, but let's dive right in. The first book adaptation that I am thrilled is coming to TV is The Handmaid's Tale. Now, this is coming up really, really soon. I believe it's on Bravo on April 30th. And The Handmaid's Tale was written by Margaret Atwood, who is a fellow Canadian. This is a dystopian book about a world in which women are more and more infertile. And so there's a small group of women that are still fertile and the world is starting to use these women as essentially just baby makers and it's very disturbing book it's very shocking and it's so close to the way that our world works that it almost feels like this could happen in like five years so it very, very good. If you haven't read it, I would definitely read the book before you watch the adaptation, but I am so excited. April 30th, bravo. This is a mini series. I think there are either six or eight episodes and that's definitely going to be happening for me very soon. The next book adaptation I cannot wait to see is The Dinner. The Dinner is written by Herman Koch. I can never figure out how to say his name. But it follows two couples and the men in these couples are brothers and those brothers don't get along at all. The entire book takes place at one sitting at this dinner and they're there to discuss what their sons have done. The writing is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely loved the dinner. So the adaptation is coming out on May 5th and it's starring like huge stars like Richard Gere and Laura Linney, who I love Laura Linney. She can do no wrong to me. So I am actually wondering who Richard Gere is going to play. I think he would be best not as Paul Lohman, who is our narrator, but as the brother. So that's like fingers crossed. That's who he's playing, but you never know. Next we have Tulip Fever. I just recently read this book. I read it last month and I really did enjoy it. It is set during a time where tulip fever was all the craze. So it was in the 1700s and uh, tulips were the most expensive thing that you could buy essentially. So it follows um, this one couple. She is a very young woman and she's married a much older man. And he is totally in love with her and she's not really in love with him at all. It's a convenient marriage for her and she feels safe. However, her husband decides that he wants to get their portraits done. So he hires this young artist to come in and do their portraits. So this young artist comes and the young artist and the wife fall in love and begin an affair. So it follows that affair. There's an enormous cover-up that happens. It's a really fast-paced read. So that is being turned into a movie and it is starring Alicia Vikander. I'm probably pronouncing her name wrong, but I, I absolutely love this actress. She won um, an Oscar for The Danish Girl. She was also in The Light Between Oceans. She's one of my favorite actresses, so I'm so thrilled she's gonna be in this um, book adaptation. And it is coming out on August 25th. I am definitely going to the theaters to see it. I know she's gonna be amazing. The next book adaptation I am really looking forward to is It. Now I'm reading It right this minute and I'm uh, kind of like halfway through. It's a really chunky book. I think it's 1200 pages. It's a chunker, but it's really good. And it's actually my first Stephen King. So it, if you don't know, it follows a group of kids who are being like, terrorized by this clown slash monster. And they think that they've beat it as kids. And then 
I think it's like 26 or 27 years later, um, they find out as adults that it is back and they have to go back and fight it again. It's definitely a scary book. I'm really enjoying that aspect. Um, so this is going to be an adaptation and it's going to be coming out on September 8th. And I think the plan for the movie is to actually split it in two. So they're going to do the first movie, which is coming out on September 8th. That one is going to follow all of the characters as children, which I think is actually really smart because it really is kind of broken up. So the plan is if that movie does well, then they'll do the next film. Um, of them as adults. So it's kind of based on how many people go and see this movie. So fingers crossed, everybody goes to see it. I'm definitely going to see it. I've already got a bunch of people from the office who are going to come with me. So i um, super excited for that. The last book adaptation that I'm super excited is coming out is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. This is my favorite Gillian Flynn. It might be my favorite thriller I've ever read. So this follows a young reporter. I think she's in her 20s or 30s. There's something very sinister happening in her hometown. Someone is taking young girls, strangling them and taking out all of their teeth. And so her boss at this, you know, little newspaper that she works at has said, you know what, this is your hometown, go and cover the story. However, she has a bad memory of her childhood in this hometown. She doesn't really get along with her mother. She now has a stepfather that she doesn't really know very well. And she has a half sister that she doesn't know at all. This half sister is like 16 years old. So she goes back to the hometown and she's dealing with not only trying to track down this murder investigation and who the murderer is, but she's also dealing with her, um, her family and the struggles with her family. So this is going to become a mini series on HBO. I think they're planning on doing eight episodes and it's starring Amy Adams. I am beyond excited for this. I think it's going to be brilliant. It's such a great book. Go out and read the book now if you haven't read it already and if you like thrillers. If you don't, just stay away because it's really gritty. It's Gillian Flynn. So those are all of the book adaptations that I am so excited to see. Let me know if you have any book adaptations that you um, are excited about that are coming up and you can't wait to go and see. Um, leave that in the comments below and then maybe I'll pick up the book before that movie comes out. So I hope this finds you well and I will see you next time. Bye.